Greetings in the name of the Lord and uh, welcome to another Daily Drop. We are going to be doing Psalms 119 verses 25 through 32 and this is not entitled so there's not a, there's, there's not a title to it but scripture reads, My soul cleaves unto the dust, quicken you me according to your word. Now that, my soul cleaves unto the dust, uh, I just want to remind us that um, after Cain in Genesis chapter 4 killed his brother Abel and God came to require of Cain where his brother was, that Cain replied, I don't know, I'm not my brother's keeper. And that God said to Cain, but your brother's blood cries to me from the ground. And then in Genesis chapter 3 uh, in the fall, we have God telling Adam that he was going to curse the ground for his sake. And that from the ground, Adam was going to have to uh, work the ground until the day that he returned to the ground because it was from the ground that he came. So that when we pass away, of course, we know we're buried and we're put back into the ground. So there's a cleaving unto the dust that kind of goes with our journey through this life. But the second half of that, um, he says, but quicken you me according to your word. Now, Jesus says in John chapter 6, verse, um, verse 63, he says, the flesh, it doesn't profit anything. But the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And it is the spirit that quickens and gives life. So we, and in, in continuing reading, um, I have declared my ways and you have heard me teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the way of your precepts. So shall I talk of your wondrous works. Verse 28. My soul melteth for heaviness. Now, in Matthew uh, chapter 3, verse 11, that my soul melteth with heaviness. John the Baptist tells us that the one who is coming after him, which is our Messiah, that he's going to baptize us in the Holy Ghost and with fire. So that when we kind of go off, there's a conviction that we experience that comes from the Holy Spirit and the conviction, and there's a pain that's attached to that. It's uncomfortable. It hurts. It's discipline. But that's the fire of the conviction that comes from the Holy Spirit into our hearts whenever we kind of just go off. It's, it's designed to pull us back into line. And, um, and in verse 29, uh, Remove from me the, my ways of lying and grant your law unto me graciously. Now, Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 says that we're saved by grace through faith. And that Jeremiah says in chapter 31, God's telling Jeremiah, there's going to come a time I'm going to take the law and I'm going to write it in your heart. So that through grace, the law is applied to us graciously. So that now we can obey it from within and not try to keep it from, from without. So that it's by grace we're saved and it's through the Holy Spirit we're kept. God does all of the work. All we do is we just respond. Thank you very much.